Hello friend and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to export data to text file format in Microsoft Access 2016. Now in our previous video, we have already learned how to import data. Now as we can import data, Access also gives us the ability to export my database to different file formats. Now as I move on to my next screen, it says that we can export our data in different file variety of file formats. Now what are these file formats? It can be an Excel file. As as we have discussed we have imported data from an excel format so we can also export it in a excel format the next one is the text file that is csv and tsv uh, also we have xml file we also have pdf file that means that i want if i just want to make our database just only read only at that time i'll use pdf file pdf file is also can be saved or can be exported by using the print preview mode under the print preview mode you can also save my file as a pdf format Next thing that we uh, it talks about email. Let's say that if I want to email my database to one of my colleague or to one of my boss, at that time I will use this particular option email. Whenever I click on uh, external file or whenever I want to export a file, it will give show you all these formats right in front of you. You simply have to go and select that format. Now in this video, we are going to learn how we export data to a text file format in our practical approach. In this video, we are going to learn how to export the access database to a text file format. So let's go ahead and do this. In order to do this, I have to go to the external data tab and I will move to the export group. In our previous video, we have already learned how to export the access database to an Excel file. Now this time we will do it for text file. So I'll simply click on text file. Now the moment I click on text file, it is basically asking me what is the name of the file and the destination of the file. So I will name this as just customer. All right. And I'll, it is also asking me the format that is dot txt. Now this is the by default you can get it or else you can if you want to change the destination I will simply hit on the browse button which will help me to select the exact location where you want to save this file. I simply hit OK. The moment I hit OK another window is popping up right in front of you which says export text wizard. Now out here you can see two different format that is delimited and fixed width. Now delimited is used when when I have a separator. So what is the separator? Now as you can see each field out here is separated by a single comma. As you can see each field is separated by a single comma and so on. Right. So I have a delimiter a comma. So I'll select delimited or I can also use fixed width where I have to manually drag each and every field. So it is all up to you. Whichever field you use that is absolutely fine. As of now I will use delimited and simply hit on the next button. The next thing it is asking you for what is the delimiter as I have already told you the comma is my delimiter. It has automatically selected comma. You can also select what uh, the delimiter which are available with me. All right, you can select any one of those, but as of now, I will select comma and simply hit on the next button. The last thing it is asking you export to file. This is the destination of file. I will just simply copy this destination so that for our reference, it will be used for our reference. I will search this file and see whether this database has been exported or not. So I'll simply hit on finish. It will take some time. So the last thing it is saying you that it has already finished exporting the table to this location. Okay, so I simply hit close. Now in order to check whether it has really done the job or not, I will open the explorer and in this explorer, I'll simply type the destination of the file, right? As you can see, I have the destination and the name of the file was customer. As you can see, I simply double click on it. The moment I double click on it, I have my data ready with me. Now this is how you can transfer or you can export the Excel database with the help of Microsoft Access 2016. 